You know, COVID-19 has slowed down or in some cases just completely stopped a lot of live music performances. But one long-standing event is still is thinking about its audience and how they're going to pull this off this year. I spoke with Atiba Berkeley of the Piedmont Blues Preservation Society about the Carolina Blues Festival. He said this year should be a combination of live and virtual. Atiba, so I know a lot of people are pooling resources these days to kind of keep their events going, and that's what you guys are doing with the Folk Festival. How, how does that work between the two of you? Well, it's been great. The Folk Festival approached us about collaborating, and it was right on time. We were really up against a deadline to uh, decide whether we were going to have to cancel. Um, through the collaboration, we were able to not cancel, but actually probably bolster our efforts um, and make both organizations stronger. Um, it's been such a unique time and we really didn't want our community to miss out on either of our events. So the opportunity to collaborate uh, the weekend of September 11th through 13th. Yeah, it's funny when you talk about blues, a lot of people think about the old days and early days of blues, but they're alive and well now. I mean, what are you seeing with blues in North Carolina these days? Yeah, blues today is booming and great. Um, it feels as good as it ever has. Uh, here in North Carolina, we have so many different styles of blues. Uh, North Carolina has its own original regional style of blues, which is something very few parts of the country can claim with Piedmont style picking, which is actually the beginning of the first pop music the world ever knew. Now, will we have both festivals going on simultaneously or are these just pooling resources to make sure that both happen? We will have some shared content. The Folk Festival is presenting three days of programming digitally with two hours per day. It will be pre-recorded, working with the great seven cinematics. Uh, the Blue Society is also planning on broadcasting some of that content with them. Well, music is so important, all genres of music, and I'm so glad you guys are joining together. Thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. Best of luck. Yeah, it's great because you think about the North Carolina Folk Festival and the Carolina Blues Festival. That's September 11, 12, and 13. I've got information. You can go to WFMINews2.com. Look for this story. It'll be up in a little while, and so you can link to their website. But this is going to be a great thing that they're keeping that tradition alive because blues is one of the oldest genres, and a lot of the roots of blues go back to the South and in North Carolina. Yeah, and I mean, it, it just seems like week after week, we're hearing more of these uh, big in-person events mm -hmm. going virtual, and it's kind of like you have to have at least that as a backup plan at this point because we don't know where the state will be come September. And they do have some acts that they've promised will be coming in. It's just a matter of how many people will actually be able to see it live. There may be a few, but that'll be, you know, they'll figure that out when, when it gets a little bit closer.